President Yoweri K. Gita Museveni and the Kabaka of Buganda Ronald Muwenda Mutebi II meet at Nakasiro State Lodge. Welcome to the Angels Podcast, please feel free to join our ever-growing community by subscribing to our YouTube news Chan. President Museveni on Tuesday met with Kabaka of Buganda Ronald Muwenda Mutebi II at Nakasiro State Lodge in Kampala. Mr. Museveni, after the meeting tweeted saying we discussed matters of mutual interest. I thank His Majesty the Kabaka of Buganda Ronald Mwenda Mutebi II for the courtesy call, Mr. Museveni added. The Kabaka was accompanied by the Katakiro Charles Peter Meiga and Prince David Wasaja. Sources said they discussed several issues, including the proposed land amendment. This afternoon, the Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutebi II visited the Nakasiro State Lodge where he met the President. As you may be aware, leaders always have some things to talk about and indeed if there are any issues the leaders talk about them and it yields to something, Mr. Mayiga told BBS TV after the meeting. The meeting comes after a proposed government bill seeking reforms in the Malo land tenure system sparked a storm as Buganda opposes any move aimed at tampering with it. Recently, the government announced that it is coming up with new land reforms, including scrapping Malo land which they say will protect interests of both landlords and Bibanja holders, tenants, and also save them from arbitrary evictions. The system is common in Buganda. Nakisk, Luwiro and Nakasingola districts continue to register a high number of cases involving mass land evictions over failure by the different parties to honor the land transaction guidelines under the amended Land Act 2010. In Nakasingola, where more than 80% of the land is under the Malo system, a section of the landlords claim that the government's planned intervention seem to be bent on trying to cushion the unresolved and unfair sections of the Land Act that deny them the right to benefit from their land. Mr. Solomon Mpaki, who owns about 1.5 square miles of land in Nabiswira sub-county, said the government is to blame for the continued wrangles between the landlords and tenants since efforts to have the land fund rolled out in the district have failed. Disappointed with compensation Some of the landlords, including myself, are willing to enter into negotiations with the government, but many that were approached by the Uganda Land Commission for compensation have never been cleared. They have spent more than seven years waiting for compensation. Many have decided to abandon the deal and have repossessed their land, he said. During Heroes Day celebrations at Kalalu Independence Grounds on June 9, President Museveni described Malo land as an evil land system. The Uganda Land Commission also recommended that the system be scrapped. A source at the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development last month said the law will guarantee safety of Bibanja holders and tenants and shield them from incessant evictions. Mr. Samuel Sebalamu, a landlord at Kakuj sub-county in Nakasangola, claims not all landlords are extremists and are against their respective tenants enjoying their rights. Mr. Moses Sindagayer, a tenant on land at Mayurikiti village in Nakasangola sub-county, blames the landlords for attempting to undermine the amended Land Act, 2010, without seeking a review of its sections through the right channels. Our landlords believe that the tenants have no rights on their respective Bibanja plots, he said. Recently, Lands Minister Judith Nabakooba discovered that in some parts of Nakasangola, more than 100 households are on the verge of being evicted after their respective landlords allegedly fenced off large chunks of land, denying them the right to use their respective bibanja. The district leaders, including the minister, noted that some landlords were not fully compensated under the land fund and have decided to repossess their respective land after years of waiting for the land fund balances from the government. Section 32 a. Introduced into the Land Act in 2010 states, lawful or bona fide occupants to be evicted only for non-payment of ground rent. Sous-titrage 